you very much for joining us. I am Yori Falani. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, well, uh, what could we look at this morning? There's so many things, but let's look at, um, what, was it last week? Yeah, I think it was last week when uh, Representative, uh, um, uh, re uh, the Representative Ugo Chinere, uh, Ikemba, yeah, that's him. No, 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 Ikenga. Uh, one must be very, very careful. It's only one Ikemba, as far as I can remember. But Representative uh, Ikenga, Ugo Chinere, you know, uh, the, he had moved this motion um, that um, the 20, uh, w what we need to do now is to, mm, to crash our system such that um, a president, when elected, will actually stay in office, will run it for six years. Not just the president, governors, also members of the um, uh, local government, uh, also members of um, the local government. So um, we, we, we thought we'd look at it today because our people say, if the thing ain't broke, don't fix it. So um, that's where we'll be today, but we'll be right back. Stay with us, please. Okay, welcome back. And um, our guest is Fred O.K. in Ziako. He's a lawyer and he's also uh, a policy analyst. Great to have you this morning, Fred. Thank you. you know, Thank you. you. You know how people say, if a thing, <clears throat> yeah, as the Americans say, if a thing ain't broke, what would they fix them for? Why would they fix them? Uh, it must be uh, in the thought of um, the members of the House of Rem uh, Representatives that um, there is something wrong with our current arrangement of four years. Uh, and so the, 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 this very big step of saying we should go six years, which was roundly opposed. In fact, they wouldn't even let the um, leader, uh, that were the sponsor of the motion, um, they wouldn't even let him lead the debate. Um, what, give me your thought on the matter. Um, is he saying something that a lot of people are not seeing or uh, people think that um, somehow you're just playing with the system? You know, for every, <clears throat> thank you, Yori, and I'm glad to be with you. Thank you. You know, for every system, for every policy, for every program, there are pros and cons. Yes, yes. There are positives and negatives. Um, Ugochinere, Honorable Ugochinere, Ikenka Ugochinere, Ika Wono, mm -hmm. representing a data, not on South, a constituency, federal constituency of Imo State, and the 33 other lawmakers felt that um, the system that we operate currently, that the, the limitations far outweigh the other option, mm. which is the other option, single tenor, mm -hmm. six years, you go. Mm. In their thinking and in their mindset, they felt that it is very expensive to run elections in Nigeria. And for every four years, you run very costly elections. And for every four years, you spend so much, you don't have enough time to plan your programs and implement them. Okay. Because immediately after this current election, you are thinking of the next one. <laughs> <clears throat> Especially for the, for the executive office of the governor and the president. Immediately after the election, you're thinking of your second tenor. And even during your second tenor, before you end your second tenor, you are thinking of who will replace you so that you will get your one Friday to replace you. In which case, you also get deeply involved in the process. And now, they're now in their thinking, they felt... If we have a single tenor of six years, it will take away all this desperation and um, it will ensure that there is more sanity and less cost for our electoral process. Okay. That is and their theory. That's their own theory. And they also feel, because embedded in it is the rotational principle. Indeed. We have six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. They felt when it goes to north and south, when the pendulum swings north and south, for every side, there are three zones. So when it comes to north, it will be the turn of northwest, next time northeast, next time north central, ditto for south. And they felt that a lot of rancor and acrimony that go with our electoral process will be buried. If you look at it that way, it makes a lot of sense. It, it seems logical. It seems logical. Mm. If you now look at the other side, flip the coin on the other side, what is the, the, the coin on the other side? If you unfortunately remember, elect, sorry, sir. Remember yes. that they also want all elections conducted on the, the same day, day. On the same on the same day. That one, I don't know what they had in mind mm. to have proposed that. 
Even the staggered elections, we are finding difficult, and then they want elections all in the same day. I'm looking at the, 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 the logic. Now, you flip the coin on the other side. How can you conduct all elections in the same day? If our electoral system is filled with people, the electorates are literate enough, if our electoral system has advanced to the level where even electronic voting can be done, if you are trying to imitate the American system, mm -hmm. where even before the election, some people are called early voters. That's right. They would have voted and gone. The whole thing would be kept in post office until they, they would be unwrapped. But the flip side to it is, if you unfortunately elect the wrong person, you will be tied down with that wrong person for six years. Of course. Well, this, the same way it works with the four-year cycle. Oh, the same way it works with the, the same four-year cycle. You let the wrong person, you the wrong stuck person, with them. You stuck with the wrong person, and the wrong person will even want to get the second tenor, and in most cases, using the power of incumbency, he gets the second tenor. You are now tied to the eight years instead of six. The next one is, is there anything wrong with rotation? Nothing. Absolutely. Some countries, the one that readily comes to mind is Switzerland. By next tenor, you know who the next leader of Switzerland is because of their rotation principle. And uh, the, whoever that will become the next leader, let's say the next president, would have been vice president by now, understanding the president, and the next shift will come to his own side and he becomes the president. That way, they usually have seamless transition. And that is why you cannot throw away the baby with the bathwater. Their idea and their opinion makes a lot of logic and a lot of sense. And uh, the way it was shut down by their colleagues gives an impression that their colleagues did not have enough time to think through the possibility of such policy. Or they were in a hurry or they just blocked their mind from opening it up to new ideas and new interests and new issues. Because it's a new idea, which if you look at the pros and cons, the options for it in favor of that option may seem much better. Let's take this issue of rotation, for example. You know, it's, it's an upheaval to the whole system. That, must, that, that much must be admitted. That, look, uh, no matter the logicality yes. of it, yes. look, when you look at it, um, as it were, neutrally, and there's nothing neutral about Nigeria, mm. one, has to be, one has to be aware of that. Um, when you look at it like that, um, we... Shouldn't we work uh, much better uh, at perfecting the four years, for example, which is the central plank of this whole conversation? Yes. Uh, w shouldn't we be working at perfecting that more than it is at the moment, rather than the systemic upheaval of let's come with a totally new ground rules up? The problem with some human beings is... Difficulty to adapt to change. Okay. It's a major problem. Okay. That natural inertia is in almost <coughs> most human beings. To change from what they know mm -hmm. to what they think becomes a problem. And that is why they shut down this one without even giving it deep thought. One of the, I belong to the school of thought that believes that when we need to rejig our constitution, we need to restructure our system. If this comes in as part of the political restructuring, in which will now drive the, the financial fiscal restructuring that will be anchored on true fiscal federalism, you can see that there is, their, their mindset should not be ignored completely. It is, it is important to give it a deep thought and to be able to come out from the current political morass that we find ourselves. This idea of rotation. It is, even as we speak, it is in our system, but it is not etched in our laws. No. It's no. a gentleman agreement. Uh -huh. It is in the mentality and the mind of politicians and even the electorate themselves. Mm -hmm. But that cannot power, be enforced. Yeah, the power, but, but, but cannot be enforced because it is not part and part of our laws, more or less like a gentleman agreement. Yes. The power should oscillate between the North and the South. So is there anything wrong with putting it in our laws? You ask yourself, is there anything wrong with ensuring that out of these geopolitical zones that will further firm up this zonal principle and zonal arrangement so that not only that power at that level will move from one zone to another, 
When you come to the governorship, each state has three zones, three senatorial zones. So is there anything wrong with moving? And of course, that one happens even without having it in our laws. And that is why even in most recent elections, you find out if the governor comes from the central and the next person wants to come from the central, they will say no. Mm. It has to be the turn of the mm. south mm. or the turn of the west or the east, depending on the nomenclature of the geopolitical zone or, or the senatorial zone in the state, the state. So if it is put down in our laws, will it hurt? Because in every senatorial zone, there is no way you will tell anybody that you cannot produce a sound, robust governor from that zone. The advantage is that if each zone knows that it is our turn, they will very well be more serious in bringing out the very best from their zone at the senatorial level. At presidential level, if each zone knows that it is, for example, the turn of the Southeast, the Southeast will ensure that they bring out their very best. So that becomes a positive for this kind of policy. And I think I have, have, I have reasoned robustly around that idea. And I felt that it should not be struck off the way it, it was struck off it, it on, the floor, struck on the floor of assembly, of, 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 of the parliament, federal parliament. Mm. They did not give it deep thought. Okay, I, I wonder... And I think it is still not too late for them to give it deep thought. Well, and, those who, and those who are pushing this motion are saying their doors are not completely closed because they believe that they can now go through the route of constitutional amendment to see whether that can go in. <laughs> but if it cannot go in on the floor, how can it go in at that level? <laughs> because, that's, you know... That's because they are challenged. Because there are provisions. In fact, all of the, what they were doing, um, what those um, legal uh, legislative gentlemen were doing, oh, well, legislative persons, because it also includes women, um, they, they were effectively trying to change the constitution uh, by this. Because... Um, they were actually removing and replacing sections of the Constitution to make this whole idea fit as a principle, as a proposal. Yes. Uh, and I think that is, this is what um, uh, the Legislative House saw and um, probably decided, you have said perhaps a bit hastily, that we, don't, we, we have enough problems. We don't want to go through... Um, this rigorous yeah, you're constitutional you're amendment you're program. That, that amounts to legislative laziness. You think so? I agree. I, I think so. That amounts to legislative laziness because there is no... There's, if you can see them... I have run through our constitution mm. as a person. I mean, I've read it like a book. Mm -hmm. Run through our constitution. And even some areas where I saw inconsistencies, I even noted them. So, constitutional study, we have National Institute of uh, uh, democratic studies. We have people that are working day and night, working on our constitutional issues. We have many people who are interested in advancement of our constitution. So if it is not legislative laziness, there is no reason why they will not give it a deep thought. Okay, let, let me, let, let's see what uh, Oko, who is in Abuja, is watching in Abuja. Uh, he's called in. Let's see what Oko thinks. Good morning, Oko. Oko in uh, oh, Coco. I, I'm sorry, Coco in Hello. morning. Is that Coco in Abuja? Yes, please. Good morning, Mr. Yori. How are you, sir? Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. I'm I'm fine. Please go ahead with your comment, observation. Okay. Uh, please, I would um I would like you to just point out to the guests, to your guests, that you should not make you should not make this issue of rotation. Sound too easy that if every zone knows that it is their turn, they will rally around to produce a very good candidate. Please let's note that the parties are not going to consult the whole zone to come up with a very good candidate. For instance, you find out that the parties will, the, the politicians in the party will rally around to produce their own candidate. Let us not say that the zone will produce the best candidate. Sometimes mm. the zone will not even be consulted. Mm. President Obasanjo was elected in 1999 without votes from the Southwest. That's just my example. Okay. Thank you, okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Oko. Um, no, but Mr. Oko did not understand. Possibly he didn't follow our thought process from beginning. We are looking at a new, a, 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 we are imagining a brand new policy, a brand new constitution. He is looking at it from the prism of mm. the current mm. arrangement. Mm. We are looking at 
at this thing that will rejig the entire arrangement. This will be a paradigm shift. A, a complete paradigm shift. In that case, if it is agreed and etched in our constitution, every political party will want to bring their candidate from that zone that it is their turn, agreed in, 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 in principle and in letters of our laws. What it now means is that each political party will now struggle to bring up their very best within that zone. If we have, for say, today we run about 18 political parties, but of course you know that not all the 18 are strong. We can say we have very strong political parties. I, I use the word advisedly because any political party that can put a, a, a representative in the parliament and possibly have somebody in the seat of government at the state or federal level can be termed a strong party. So today we have three, or let's say four. If the four political parties, for example, are working to bring the very best in mm -hmm. a particular zone, mm -hmm. I tell you that they will fish out the very best. Um, it becomes an internal competition. Okay, L let's add to this contribution. Uh, Sunny Adenuga is in Abuja. Good morning. Good morning. So you hear me back? Okay, good morning, Sunny. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, yeah, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Sunny, we can hear you. Good okay. morning. Uh, good morning, Theory, and to your guest, okay. uh, Dr. Fred. Now, I think um, the way I look at this is this um, it's being looked at in a simplistic form of things. And I'm going to join some views with the last caller who was saying that what's going to happen to the political party. Um, sometimes, uh, there are things that are, like, like Barrister first said, when you look at it currently, there is a gentleman on the funding that there has to be, uh, when it comes to the north, this to the south. So the issue is, is I just think the proponent of this um, uh, amendment, if you can call it that way, or the idea, it's a proposal. they are only trying to solve problems for political gladiators. How does it solve the problem the average man on the Nigerian face. I have talked about this idea of change the time, and you keep asking yourself that six years, someone wants us to vote anyone into somebody into power, and the person is there for six years. Six years, if someone will enter a university, he could have finished a PhD within that period of time. And who will stick our lot to one person if we are by being unfortunate to elect such a person. So, if, in my view, I think they need to come up with how this idea, um, I don't want to say we should throw it through, but how will it affect the ordinary man in the street of the country? Okay. Not about solving the interests of some few political people, just see they want their turn to be the president or they want their turn to be the governor. I think that's just why I put our own bond about it perfect, which is more like one. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Sunny Adenuga. Sunny is a chairman of Boot Political Party uh, in Nigeria. You know, he participated in the election. And, um, you, you know, uh, aspects of his uh, of Sunny's con contribution here, I, I think it also aligns with the uh, concern of uh, Coco, who called in earlier, that how will this benefit the ordinary person? Uh, in terms of getting a, a better deal, uh, better, in, I'm talking about the, um, uh, the more equitable, more inclusive, more participatory. How will it do that? In fact, it will do the opposite of that seems to be the... It's very, it's, very, it's very simple. How does democracy affect the life of ordinary person? By increasing their welfare, increasing their standard of living, and delivering good governance to the people. And how do you ensure that? Mm -hmm. By electing the right hands. Okay. That's it. And so once you elect the right hands, the very best in your environment, at least mm -hmm. perceive very best because we are all human. But you look at somebody's pedigree, you look at somebody's nature and, all, uh, and antecedents to know how well the person can do when in office. So if you elect the right person, then you enjoy the dividends of democracy. You enjoy good governance and, uh, and uh, that's the very best way it will benefit everybody. The current system that we operate has a lot of problems. Yes, yes you mentioned in your initial um, in, uh, uh, intro that why don't we look at strengthening the current system of four years? There's nothing wrong with strengthening it, but we are now looking at this idea. You know, this idea had come 
before. It, it, this is yes, this is not the first time. It has always it kept coming. Mm -hmm. Some people will think of five years. Some people will think of six years. But on the average, if you tell a man six years, certain, when you win an office, uh, any position, then you bring in your very best. Then after six years, the rest will be history. Most people will like that. Okay. Most well, people. One, one moment. Like um, 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 Chukwu Emeka in Abuja. Good morning to you, sir. Chukwu Emeka, can you hear us? Good morning. Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am really thinking that uh, from their first analysis or their first analysis of the six-year tenor, that would have been the best thing happening to Nigeria. But if you listen to what he said, anybody who wins the election is thinking of the next one he's going to contest. If he happens to win another four years, he's thinking of his man fighting. So when does he have time to think fully of the office he's holding? Because 60 to 70 percent of his time is working on the next election. But if you're having a six year tenor, that is one single tenor, the Nigerians will manage that their first four years after winning an election and appointing the people to work with will be concentrated on the office you are holding. Even at the local level of uh, area councils, the first three years, is what they use, knowing to where they will come for the second term. In the second term, they don't even do anything. So the first two years of their tenorship is used in doing anything they can do. So I think that the first thing, the new paradigm shift for us Nigerians is having a single six-year tenor, where the winner will concentrate his first three on working for the people and his remaining two years for his own recreation, knowing to where he's not coming again. Mm. I think that it would have been the first thing. Oh, this is and even in the regional perspective, it is also good. So every region is not guaranteed that it is a constitutional thing. And at the point in time, a person coming from the region will be representing him there. Because the way Nigeria is made today, if we are going to a free and fair election, there are certain parts of Nigeria that can never take the presidency. Because they don't even have the vote. And they don't, the, the voters don't even have the analysis that is devoid of tribe and religion. So they will always vote in one line. So let's make it just, oh, well, already, unfortunately, the National Assembly or the House of Rep has already taken the idea. But I think the second touch should be given to you. Thank you, Uncle Yuri. All right, then. Well, th thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling in. Uh, he, he, he introduced another aspect. If you want, so there will be those who refer to it as the elephant in the room, because he, he made a statement inter earlier that, um, you know, uh, without this kind of an idea, uh, quote unquote, paraphrasing him now, there are parts of this country that will never ever experience uh, the presidency. Of course, the beauty of rotation is that it is very inclusive. If you don't rotate, there are parts of Nigeria that may never produce the, of the, pre the president for many, many years. There are parts of Nigeria. Let's say, for example, Southwest, I mean, South South. Apart from Jonathan, John, Jonathan whose own was naturally circumstantial, <laughs> naturally <laughs> circumstantial, mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think somebody from South South would have won an election if we continue to go with this tripod of uh, uh, East, West, and, and, and North? But when it is rotational, you see the beauty of this type of idea, Yori, is that it helps this, the people to start searching for the good man on time. If I know that in... 12 years time, that it will be the turn of my people. I will start cleaning up myself from beginning if I know I have that idea to run for presidency. And then the people themselves who are the leaders will begin to nurture leaders that will take up that pinnacle position that will not bring shame to the young people. Because six years, for, six years, so for example, the, the clock will go around in 36 years. Yeah, I, yes. I hear you. So if you have an opportunity, make very good use of it. Yet, we will still have the provision for impeachment if any leader does not do well. Okay. That impeachment clause will still be there. Okay. But it will, when you impeach Mr. A, you choose his replacement from the same zone. In, in fact, now that you, were, uh, you mentioned from the that, same zone. Uh, legal terminology, impeachment, I yes. was reminded that there are aspects in their idea uh, of um, midterm 
you know, after three years, you come and make a report. Make a report. And um, the, 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 the report. There could be midterm referendum, midterm yes. elections, something there, like there that. There actually could be. So, yes. Um, okay. Uh, but why? Why did the House of Reps, you know, they were in a hurry turn it, turn it two out? Two major reasons. One, they didn't want to exercise their intellectualism, mm -hmm. stretch it. Okay, they didn't want to. to. They didn't want to, to bring that imagination. Intellectual vigor to it. Vigor, put intellectual vigor to it. That is one. Two, like I said earlier, so many people have this inertia, difficulty okay. to shift okay. from what they know they're, they're very to, to what they imagine. Okay. They are comfortable where they are, and they don't want it to be, to be torpedoed. In, Meanwhile, there's no torpedo. Okay. It's only fine-tuning. Okay. Is Fred Nziako's um, position on this matter, is it yours? Let's know. Let's hear. Let's hear all shades of opinion on it. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, quite an, a vigorous conversation going on. Six years or uh, four years. Um, the House of Representatives has, you know, effectively thrown out without... They, they've said that um, it's not as if it's permanent, but, you know, we have more urgent things uh, would seem to be their body language to consider uh, nationally uh, but this. Um, Otumba Debo uh, wants to weigh in on the issue. Good morning to you, sir. Otumba Debo, good morning. Otumba Debo, good morning, okay, good morning sir. Okay. Good morning, good, good morning, okay, Good morning, sir. Don't use your television. Don't use your television morning, to hear. Okay, Don't use your television to hear. Good morning, okay, Good morning. How's your weekend? <laughs> that's not why you I called. That's not why you called Otumba Debo, but it was fine. I have gone away from television. I see. I have, I have gone away from television. So what, what, what's, what's the situation now? Okay, you have moved away from the television me? set. I understand you now. Go ahead, please. What do you think? Okay. I want to, what I want to say is that uh, the... What the... Uh, what the what the uh, weekend guys should do, and the House of Representatives as a whole, and even including Senate, to look into the, the reform on electoral uh, electoral laws to ensure that the electronic transmission of uh, results are incorporated or is incorporated in the bill in the electoral bill. That that should be number one. So that uh, the, the votes can count. So that the votes can count. And then uh, number two is that uh, the AI net should uh, devise the means that they, they, they are boots, if, if necessary, there should be envelope for uh, polling papers. So when you vote inside the inside the the, the, the voting material into the into the envelope, so that nobody sees it. And that will come vote buying. That will come vote buying. It could be a long uh, envelope. Okay. You insert, you insert the poly material after to printing into into the by into the envelope and As, print it out into the box. A sort of a secret so ballot. There's a voter party in the country now, and they are talking of uh, diaspora voting, which is first step to that of the of the country now. So. so that so, At October. Least, 150 or more Nigerians come out to vote every now and I, then. And there's nothing wrong with the rotational presidency. Or six years. That's I wanted to get your. What, what do you think about the six year, six year or four year? I against all this uh, reform. Six or four and years. You should have it, particularly electronic transmission, must be in the, in the bill. Okay. And uh, the, vote, the, the voting. To be Otumba, to, can to you be hear me? Sure that uh, nobody sees it. I vote by. Otumba, can you hear me? Okay, I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. You're, you're talking about the modalities, but finally, in you know, a conclusion, are you for the four or six year? Uh, well, he he's gone. But that conversation ended up being more of a one way. But he was looking into the mod modalities. <clears throat> um, I I believe in of making this whole six-year proposal uh, work. I don't know if that was what he was 
I think it was really more on, on, on the, the current, the on, current on the four years, on the four years, the current refine it exactly and uh, make it uh, make more it, uh, fraud proof exactly because he talked about uh, two major issues about um, uh, vote buying and, uh, yes. and transmission of um, yes. of results uh -huh. uh, and uh, result. even even these ills would they necessarily be taken care of or even addressed? if you bring an envelope our people will say find a way to <laughs> sidetrack it and then uh, because the vote, the vote buying thing <coughs> crept in recently. It hasn't been there before. Before we had issues of ballot box snatching, Togre, um, uh, illegal thumb printing and the rest of them. When that one was solved, mm -hmm. they now moved to vote buying. Yes. You know, you vote and show so that an agent will pick up the party you voted for and you go and uh, get paid. <laughs> All right? Even if you, <laughs> if you follow Otumba's um, uh, idea, you will just increase the cost of election in terms of material unnecessarily. The people will still have a way of sidetracking it. Mm. So it is a, it, it is it is um, a literal education, voter education that will help to cope some of these incidences. Okay, Mr. Yakub, good morning, sir. Mr. Yakub. Yakub, can you hear me? Hello. Uh -huh. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. We're waiting for you. Please go ahead. Yeah, can you hear me, sir? Give me a sign. Because I cannot hear you, sir. If you are hearing me, give me a sign. Sir. Can you see the sign? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, good Yeah, well done. Good, good, good morning, sir, once again. And uh, uh, for me, I, I, I believe the rep, uh, they have done well. They have done well. So that's my own opinion. Uh, because, okay, let's even put this thing on the table, Shipshori. We are running a single, uh, 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 one single two times ten or now. And then, as you the, can see, what, what is it going to happen? If a governor, a president knew that I'm not coming back, I'm not going to come back to seek for your uh, election again. Shipshori, what would you think it will happen? They will do whatever they like and then they will get away with it. But especially wherever he know that if in the first time of four years, and then you did not do well, you know that you are going to come back to hack for my phone. You will be able to do well, and then if you don't do well, I have right to force you out. That is why I was saying that the National Assembly and the Senate as a whole, they have a lot of things to do. One, they should be able to do something to our electoral reform. Because a situation where a citizen will know that fully my vote is going to be canned. Are you catching it now? And then I can force in the morning, and then the first two days, the, the result is coming out, and everybody will be okay. But when the president knows that whether I did well or I don't do well, or as the case may be, the governor knows that if I don't do well in office, as the case may be, if I, if I said I want to continue, whether they like it or not, if the electoral reform still remains the way it is, they will be find their way into the office again. But if the electoral reform is come to play and then they did the right thing, I think still good time is okay. So, because you know that you don't do well, we are putting you out. Thank and God bless you, sir. Okay, and, and, and I'm assuming that by that it means the four-year term that we have <coughs> uh, currently. Yes, that's what he, his argument is that because of going back to the people to renew your mandate you, for a second term, yes. you'll be compelled to do well within the first four years. What happens after the first four years? When you have been given that second mandate, when you know that you are no longer coming for a third mandate, does it now mean that the next four years there will be there will be bad that, 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 that was are, the question I was going yes, to pose. Those, those are the arguments. Those are the arguments. And then if 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 it is, you see, the beauty of this rotation, not only that it will throw up the very best in every zone, but it will also ensure that there is long-term plan. I come coming to government. From beginning, I know what I intend to do. And having to know what I intend to do, in six years' time, you are able to achieve a lot. That is the beauty of this type of arrangement. And then the rancor that goes with it, the accusation of nepotism. Mm -hmm. When Buhari was in power, he was accused of nepotism. Today, Bola Tinubu is in power. He's also being accused of nepotism. Some of those issues will be taken care of by single tenor of six years. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. Let, 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 let's hear Benga in Abuja. Good morning, Benga in Abuja. 
Benga in Abuja. Good morning, sir. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Yori. Good morning. We can hear you. Go ahead. I'm finding hard to hear you, but if you can hear me, let me continue. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, the, the, the single turn of six years is a distraction. I'm, I'm happy that House of Red threw it away. Let me tell you something. If you have a, if you have a six years tenor, just like a year, Mr. Yakub said, anybody doesn't even come and do whatever they like because there's nothing at stake. But if, but if you continue like this, somebody will be there, look, you are not performing, and give me a red card. You are going to say that uh, many people don't perform anything in second tenor. I've not seen that in Lagos. I've not seen that in Ogun State. I've not seen that. In the, in, in, the, in the people that are ready, are already come to perform. If you don't want to perform, you don't want to perform. It's not because you have a two tenor, that's why you don't perform second tenor. I tell you today that the Lagos State has maintained that track of performance. That's where APC, right from Ashwaii, so now are still holding because they never removed their leg from the top to from the when they enter. This is the last day. And it happened in many states. So the single, the, 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 the two times, it's not, a, it's, not a, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that it's not that it's perform. If you come from the beginning, they're not, they're not to perform. Let me tell you, if you allow single tenor and say we want to do for to region, in the end, when it comes to some region, it is only people in that region that will vote. They will say, okay, it's that region. Let them show that they like. That the upper is not that region. But the way it is now, when you have second, uh, two, two tenor, Everybody in that local government in the central district know that if this man is not performed in the first tenor, we will vote him out in the second tenor. We never allow him to continue. So every so this one is this one that brings that inclusivity. Every area wants to work, they want to contest for it. And that is the division of democracy. But then you say no, it must be regional or, 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 or territorial in the state. I'm telling you. Other states will not bother about what is happening in other states. And that will bring that apathy we are talking about. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Gwenga in Abuja. Uh, yet another theory. And um, there, there are going to be many of them that will be tested uh, in this conversation that, you know, has been sort of... In, yeah, the, last caller, the, the last caller was alluding to the fact or uh, to the proposition that um, um, if... if Lagos was doing well because good men had been elected. The Lagos will still have done well with election of good men for single term of six years. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, we're looking uh, at the theory of yes. you know. So if you're looking at the theory that, okay, in any state, for example, that has done well, what has made them to do well? It is because of the fact that you can only do well when you have the right men on the seat in power. If Lagos has done well in his own analysis, because right men have been there. It is not the issue of four, second tenor that has brought up the right men. It is because right men had come. The same way right men would have come to lead the state if it was six years. In fact, it would have been easier to get right men if it is six years. With two provisos. One, there will be a proviso for impeachment. And two, there will be a proviso for midterm referendum. You know, it, it's... it's a... So it will not help the people to... To look at the whole system and re and consider, oh, has it done well? Does it require to continue? If it doesn't require to continue, then the people in parliament will begin to move, uh, remove him. I think it's more a matter of um, the, the the whole issue of inclusiveness. Inclusive and, and, and coming from uh, I, uh, Ikenga Ugo Chinere, yes. uh, honourable yes. uh, Ikenga's uh, uh, idea in being the sponsor of this bill, it must be that. Um, in fact, I think it is implied that without a device like this, the, it will be very difficult for some There will zone. be continuous marginalization. And that marginalization will continue to lead to cries of marginalization and cries for injustice. And it affects the coordination between the leaders and the led. The people in, um, in um, let me say, in any belt or trough where you have huge natural resources, we begin to agitate that you are taking a lot from us and you are not allowing us to come and smell power. <laughs> but if it is rotated, yeah. all that will go. You know that so so and so time, your time will come. You, you know, in, in the but and yeah. when your time comes, bring out your best foot. I hear bring out your best hand. 
but so that you don't shame your, your region. But in the collective wisdom of the uh, House of Representatives, yes. uh, for now, uh, they are saying that, um, in fact, quite frankly, they're they, they hostile, I've, hostile to the idea. I've, they, I've told you why. You uh, said intellectual laziness. That is it. The parliamentary uh, legislative laziness. They don't legislative? Want to, legislative laziness. They don't want to crack their head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. George in Ikeja, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yoris. Thank you and for good calling. Good morning to Dr. Amina Paris Afray. Good morning. Uncle Yoris, this uh, whole ploy of a uh, uh, six year or one, one six year tenure, it looks to me like uh, a ploy to reap where one is not so. You have to work hard to become the leader of a country of over 200 million people. I believe that. If a person who becomes our president should have a kind of broad-based support across the country. That is why you need to at least be popular in four out of the six regional segments. If you make it a rotational one, you are going to defeat the very first principle of democracy, which is government that is elected by the majority of people. Let's take a critical look at one scenario. Zone 1 to 6. Zone 6 has the least population and the least of resources that is available from zone to zone. Then it comes to the time of voting. You that have 10% of the populace become the leader of 90%. Is that democracy? You will become lazy in the first place because you know that it is coming to your turn, whether you, you work hard for it or not. But if you know that you need to form alliances with others in order to get there, you will form alliances and that will enable or enhance the unity of purpose in the country. Nobody will get something that he did not work for. If you work hard, and you form alliances with other zones, you will be able to get there. But what is being proposed now is like trying to get to the presidency through the back door. If you don't work hard just because it is your turn, you don't get it. People should... You see what uh, President Tinubu did, he and his party. Uh, Atiku tried with uh, AC, ACN. He, did, he couldn't win because he couldn't uh, form alliance across the country. What he did with uh, 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 what do you call it? Congress for Progressive Change, something like that. He won the not, but he couldn't go across the line to form. And then they now decided to form an alliance, and that alliance enhanced the unity of the country. That is helping us as a populace. That if you want to uh, be truly united, you have to form alliances. If we adopt this one that they are proposing, you will not need to form any alliance again, and the unity will not be enhanced. We need to work hard for what we get. That's my argument. Thank you very much uh, for Thank continuity. You. You know. Well, the la uh, argument of the last caller is um, predicated on the mindset that one man will be selected from one zone, and then that man will no longer bother about whether to work hard or not. You come to, let us say, a, a zone like Southwest, Okay. Right? Made up of six states. In between all the states, Mr. A will come up, Mr. B will come up. There could be up to 20 people interested. In between the 20 people, you now juggle to bring them down to, with their current setting, four. Each political party, because we are, we are already agreed that we have so far strong political parties for now, the four political parties will have one each. It will make that political party to get the best from their zone to fly their flag. The other party will get the best on their zone to fly their flag. Then the four, so chosen, for example, will now be unleashed or rather sent to Nigerians. Every other person in Nigeria will say cast his vote. The provision of winning uh, to third majority, I mean, 25% uh, in, um, in uh, two third of the states will still be there. All those other a little uh, provisions will still be there. We are talking about how do you get the man that will fly the flag so that the rancor 
the desperation, the cost, the marginalization will all be vanished. Okay. And we feel, I strongly believe that if the legislators sit down, soak in this argument, they will come back and revisit this matter. Because it didn't start with Ukenga. If they threw it away because they don't like the face of Ikenga, it had been coming before. For once, sit down and look at it. We are looking at rejigging our system. We are looking at restructuring our environment. I even take it to an extent that out of the six geopolitical zones, we may even collapse all the third six states into third six zones, administrative zones, so that in each zone, for example, instead of having, let's say, southwest, instead of having six governors, six legislature, six judiciary, you have only one. It will not only shrink the cost of governance and the cost of recurrent expenses, it will release so much money for capital ventures and capital projects of the country. Because between 70 and 75% of every earning goes to the current because we have overbloated bureaucracy. So is there anything wrong with shrinking it? Sure. When we say that many of the states cannot pay themselves, apart from the money that comes from federation accounts. That's the only thing. So the money that will come from federation accounts will now be used to re-engineer the country. Today, we are saying all the huge money we made from oil, a lot would have been diversified in agriculture in ensuring that we advance our agriculture to move from subsistence level to commercial level and from commercial level to industrialization of agriculture. Because there are so many components of agriculture. Cassava alone will give you starch, give you garlic, give you so many other things, and so on and so, on and so forth. So, what is, where is the research in well, all this? Where is our industrialization level? Where is our manufacturing? Because so much money is being spent on recurrent expenses. We, 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 we cannot run away from the fact and the truth. And if we now want to reject the system, we give it holistic. We must not take it the way Americans have taken it. We must not. Okay. You know, um, thank you very much, Fred. Uh, we're going to have to leave it here. And um, the House has said that um, whereas they've not, as it were, killed this entirely, um, they've just, it's in a coma. Yeah, well, <laughs> we, will, we will advocate that they go and visit it. In their various homes, Probably let, it them, let them brainstorm with their legislative aid <laughs> and then uh, yeah, visit indeed. each other and see whether we can have a holistic um, restructuring but for on, now, uh, on our electoral process. Ikenga Ugo Chinyere's idea is in the cooler kept. Uh, for uh, now. For now. For now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's an interesting uh, proposal, and um, thank you very much for you know, giving us this sort of um, uh, view into it, as well as all the other people that also called in and uh, weighed in on the subject. Thank you very much. We're going to have to leave it here for now. Um, but do please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. Our guest has been Barrister Fred Nziako. Uh, a pleasure to you. Thank you. Thank you. So, see you tomorrow. God willing. Bye-bye for now.